history. My mom had a fairly long history of uh, drug addiction and things like that, so I was kind of exposed to it uh, once I got up into my teenage years. I just pretty much helped myself to her prescription drugs uh, once I figured out what they was and what they done to me. I really liked them. And, you know, with the prescription drug use came everything else, I was what they call a garbage can junkie, you know, I, whatever it was, smoke pot and heroin, didn't matter, I'd, I'd do whatever. You know, I used to break into cars quite a bit, uh, steal radios, speakers, walk out of Lowe's with baskets full of chainsaws, carts full of chainsaws, just, I mean, just crazy things. Um, uh, you know, because I, I could get dope on them, and I had to have my dope to, to keep going. I'm causing harm around me. I'm, you know, people around me's not happy, um, and I wasn't happy. I didn't know that I wasn't happy, but I wasn't happy. Went to rehab like six different times. Um, you know, I've been through multiple programs. You know, I just couldn't, when I would get out, I would just start doing it again, no matter how bad I wanted to stop. Um, and, you know, I just, I always knew that there was something missing. You know, it, it, I had met and experienced people that was a follower of Christ many times that had tried to help me, but I was so resistant to change and once I figured out that, hey, you know, this could be a viable option to help fill that, help fill that void, uh, you know, I started pursuing it. Uh, you know, I went to my, my grandparents have always been there to, to help me and kind of been my rock that uh, helped me through my, my rough times in life. And uh, so I went to them and I told them, I said, you know, I want to go to, you know, I want to go to treatment this time. And of course, they'd heard this before. They wouldn't. They weren't super enthused about it, you know, because, you know, I'd, I'd been there and done that so many times in the past. I was like, look, you know, I'm going to go this time, and, you know, it's going to be the last time I go. So they did. They, they, they took me, and I went to Jacksonville, Alabama, to a detox center there, seven-day medical detox, and detoxed off all the drugs. I had decided I wanted to go to a halfway house. So I went to a halfway house called The Refuge in Jacksonville Beach, and we went to a, a service called the 1122 service. Uh, Pastor Joby Martin and we started attending that every Thursday night and somewhere along those lines you know God just really came into my heart he um, you know I found peace within him uh, you know I learned so much about who I was and who I wasn't um, being there and listening to his messages and um you know, it was just something about being there. I could, I understood it. I, I understood where I was at. Um, a lot of the, you know, by that time, the physical, a lot of the physical addictions had wore off. Uh, I was starting to kind of come out of the fog a little bit, so I could, I could comprehend things again. I've had a couple of incidents where I've slipped, but I do know that that God's grace. You know, I, I've got God's grace today, and I understand that. I do student ministry. Uh, I'm a, I do student ministry with sixth grade boys uh, at Rock Point Church. I have an awesome opportunity there to to be able to share my experience, strength, and hope with them, um, and help help them navigate the waters of of life, uh, which is an awesome blessing for me. Because five years ago, wouldn't nobody trust me to feed their dog for a week? You know what I mean? Because I couldn't. You know, I just wasn't a I wasn't a trustworthy person. And by accepting the issues that I've had and accepting and accepting the responsibilities of what I've done, you know, it, it's okay. I can keep moving forward today. How great the love of Jesus Christ. cross of Calvary The blood was shed that pardons me No longer bound, no 